yeah this is just how it's going to look like when you're done pretty i love it <laughs> You're welcome to Tips and Tricks with Praise. So today is a very interesting tutorial as I'll be bringing your ways, various ways you can use your Emmy gum. I know some of us know this Emmy gum already and we have it in our workspaces but we have limited use for it. But today, just tag on with me to this tutorial and trust me, I'm going to blow your mind with the various things you can use Emmy gum for. It comes in many black and white color and in one inch here in Nigeria. But I think I've seen it about four to three inch somewhere in Ghana before. I'm not so sure though, but I think just comment, drop a comment in the comment section if you have something different from this in your location. And this is what we'll be using for this tutorial, the one inch and black and white. For this tutorial, the things we'll be needing for this tutorial, of course, our hemming gum, which is the main thing we'll be using throughout this video and our scissors. We'll be needing our chalk and also our measurement tape guys so i will put all this in news while we're working and our pins so let's go so i'm already making this dress already but i'm just going to use that as a sample just to show you what you can use any gum for so the first thing i'm going to be showing you is how to use your Amy gum to get crispy neckline edges i know some of you have this puckering your neckline edges or you have edges that are not laid well after making your neckline but i'm going to be showing you what you're going to use so place your fabric and your lining together front facing front so you'll be working on the negative type of your fabric so just place them and match the neckline so yeah i'm using an asym i'm making an asymmetric top so as you can see i just placed my front facing front this vignette don't worry about it it's part of the design i'm going to be using i'm just going to drape with it but later on so just put your fabric together and go to your sewing machine place your emmy gum for this particular tutorial i'm going to be using a white emmy gum so that you're going to see what i'm working on so just cut a long strip of your emmy gum and measure the inch you want to sew down your neckline on for you yeah i'm going to be using 1.4 inch so i'm just going to go ahead put the fabric first place my lining and the last comes my aiming gum placing it all together on one straight line just going to go to my machine and sew down that means you're having three layers you're working on so let's go so keep adjusting to make sure they are matching then now i'm done just going to be trimming off the excesses notch 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 and afterwards, I'm just going to go ahead and top stitch. I know some of you know this part already. Just to lay it down properly. This part is optional though. As your Amy Gone is doing the magic already. Cut. So we are done with this. As you can see, now just go to your own machine and ironing board and press this very well with a good steam iron, guys. Emphasis on good steam iron. I won't stop talking about it. So this is this. I have already pressed it. You see how smooth this is. Don't forget, don't worry about the veil net like, or the tool you're seeing right now. I'm just working on it. So the next thing I'm going to be teaching you how to do emmy gum is how to place your crinoline on your clothes with your emmy gum to give you a very neat finish. So this particular um section of the tutorial, I'm going to be using a fabric which I've already cut into a circle pattern, a circle skirt or circle whatever. And I'm going to be using my crinoline. Now just put your fabric down then crinoline on top and just sew on the edge like you're seeing in this video right now. Just sew. Now I'm done. Cut. Just going to trim off the excess of my crinoline. Yeah. So now look at this. This is what you're going to have. Now flip inwards, flip your crinoline inwards like this and go to your ironing board, pin it down, pin, 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 pin it down, just to hold into place basically, nothing serious. This is just going to help you secure it before you put your hemming gum. Now take your hemming gum and tuck it into the edge of your um crinoline like under you know like the fabric in between your fabric and the crinoline basically so just iron use a good steam iron please don't burn no guys good steam iron that doesn't burn yeah just tuck it in so i use a white timing gum because one i want to show you what i'm doing secondly this white timing gum it disappears easily on clothes i don't know about you have you observed it too that white timing gum has a tendency to just disappear into your cloth as you can see now you can barely see the timing gum marks so see how neat it is outside 
this is so beautiful guys don't you love just love this normally you just have your you have to still go and top, top stitch at the edge and just like just still on a stitch at the edge of the crinoline which gives you one look outside that is not really that cold but this is a very neater and cooler finishing you should aim for so this is one use of your hemi gum now the next one i'm going to be showing you how to use your hemi gum to lay down your facing guys this one i've been using it for the longest time and it works just every time so take your fabric I'm using a very tiny cloth because I just want to use it as a tutorial, um, like as a sample for this tutorial, so nothing serious. So at this point, you might have weaved the edge of your of your facing, but now I just don't have time for that. I'm just going to go ahead with my tutorial. I just sew down the neckline as you are seeing in this video. I'm using one four cut, cut, notch, 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 notch. Then go ahead and top stitch. This part again is optional, but I just like to top stitch. I think it's an old habit. <laughs> Just stop stitch like this and lay down your cut very well. Cut. Go ahead and sew the ham hole. So this is an, a, a facing that goes that covers both the ham hole and the neckline. Don't worry. One of these days I'm going to teach you how to cut different faces for different different facing. <laughs> Now, wow, different facing for different type of outfits you're making. Don't mind me. Now, go to your ironing board and iron out what you have cut, what you have sewn. I'm making so many mistakes in this video, don't worry. But let's just keep going. Now, just go ahead and iron very well with your good seam iron. Now, take your aiming gum this time around. Cut your aiming gum into tiny strips. Like, just share that one inch aiming gum into two parts. And just cut it out just in tiny streets for this one nothing serious now go ahead and tuck in your hemming gum into the neckline that's one step you should follow tucking your hemming gum into the neckline now go ahead and put your hemming gum at every corner that you think need needs to be held down by the hemming gum like the ham hole and the face facing edge like just at the cut of this edge of your facing just lay everything down just tuck it in not not no serious um, method to this just as your spirit leads please do it i'm just putting my ego in different parts just watch i'm doing it so that you can replicate while you're doing this on your own and just press down with your iron good steam iron guys i beg you oh, by now you should know i love good steam iron invest in good steam iron iron it out like this at the outer parts this is what you are going to get guys don't you just love this no no just check this out now so pretty it can't even come off no matter what look at it very very strong and well laid and smooth you don't have to have your facing coming out from your cloth or your neckline this is the perfect way to get this thing done so yeah this is just how it's going to look like when you're done pretty i love it now the next one i'm teaching you is how to use your emi gum to hold down your laces before sewing i know some of you dread sewing laces because of this particular reason but now just watch closely this is my lace fabric and um that doll face is acting as my honda facing just going to use pick either of the gum please always try and match your hemi gum with your fabric so mostly just look at the color of your fabric and pick if you are going to use either a black hemi gum or a white hemi gum that is why you should have the two colors in your workspace now just go ahead and cut and use the hemi gum under your on your on your honda facing at different points now look i'm putting some at the ham home right now I'm just going to tuck in some not at different edges but not at the middle of your cloth just at the edges only putting some at the down to hold it down putting some at the neckline right now just going to cut some more just put it at the neckline just to hold it now i'm going to close up with my lace and now i'm putting like something over my cloth so my lace won't be burnt now this is one thing you should look out for when you're working with the very thin layer of a fabric so i shouldn't but i don't want to hear stories because i'm just going to use something on top and iron properly i'm just ironing checking to see if it's ironing well now i'm going to trim out the excesses from my lace the one i have flying around just trimming out now this is what you're going to have guys is it not so perfect now check it out now 
that you can sew and be happy you can't just be sewing and your fabric is going one way your your underline is going one way so this is just perfect it's so strong and it's not coming out like one piece of cloth it's going to be easy to sew at this point now this is a very cool hack you should try now just imagine this other one i'm going to be teaching you that in case of brown or cut on your fabric now i'm just going to cut out my fabric just to just to act like like my fabric has been burnt or my fabric has been torn now to use your emmy gum on this thing you just have to cut a a pattern from your fabric that can, you can use to cover that cut on your fabric now just cut out a pattern look for a matching pattern serving as a patch just put on that part that's been cut out or has been burnt by your iron for instance put take your hemming gum place it under this is acting as a gum now just imagine you're working at night and you burnt your client fabric and you have no hemming gum sorry you have no gum around you what are you going to do will you keep crying or you're just going to make use of what you have so i'm just going to go ahead and use my hemming gum jerry jerry it's not every time we have gum lying around so hemming gum is always for me hemming gum is always in my workspace now I'm just going to go ahead and iron very well. See guys, iron very well. You can place something while your fabric, but my fabric is kind of acting, cooperating with me today, so I don't think it's going to burn. And my iron is pretty good. So now look at it. Is it not blending well? Like you wouldn't even know there's any cut there. It's perfect. But just to be sure and to have your mind at rest, you can go ahead and tack over the pattern you have placed on it. You can just tack round. With an invisible thread or with a matching color thread just to be sure that mm, your pattern your patch is not going anywhere now look at it this is so beautiful guys this is just perfect this is this is hiding any mess up you are going to experience while you are working on your clothes so this is what you just do when you have a, a cut or a bone on your fabric now this is so strong it wouldn't come off even if you are washing off your clothes it wouldn't come off it take a very long time before it will fall off now look at it it's so strong guys so the next one i'll be going through is how to use your emmy gum to lay your big interfacing you know sometimes you go to the market and after you buy this interfacing you see that probably they are, don't have the gum is already coming off or anything so this is what you can do just imagine going to the market to buy this paper stay and it doesn't gum. no matter how much thing you use on your high on it's still coming off like this you'll be frustrated just imagine this is where the gum is so and it's still not gumming guys <laughs> this is happened to me severally especially when i'm working at night there's one thing that happens at night that just goes against your workflow and this is what i came up with when i discovered it so we're going to take our emmy gum so look at now i'm going to be using this emmy gum just to lay over your paper stay over the part that's supposed to come that is not coming i'm just going to be using our black emmy gum just to make this thing very over so that you know you know i'm not performing any magic so yeah just cut out strips of emmy gum long strips and just roll it over the fine points of your paper stay over the part that's supposed to come that is no longer coming now take your piece of fabric and lay it over this is a band i'm working on a trouser band a short band precisely and i just discovered that after i wanted to come it's no longer coming up and it's no longer coming and yeah this is what i came up with guys look at this very hard like oh this is so cool like this is partner i've not done anything on this part i'm just going to show you that there's no magic going on here it is what it is <laughs> now look at it's not even going with you now see this part this part is so hard there's nothing just go ahead and press every part that is not going with your good steam high on guys see now check it out now is it not good like this instead of you to be whining and crying just do this and continue your sewing flow and nothing 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 can stop you any longer there's nothing so this is beautiful now look at i want to show you how to use your emmy gum to hold down your band while sewing some of sometimes you discover that when you're sewing your band after sewing you see that it's twisting there's one thing that just happens to the band sometimes that is against it's still against your workflow flow precisely but this is what i came up with when you are working on a trouser band a skirt band a short band whatever band you're working on and you just want a very firm and smooth look just this is what you're going to do now open your band just like you're seeing you have already sewn one side down open your band now take your hemming gum cut a long strip of hemming gum and place under your band just place it here like this Arrange it very well so it will not gum on your hand. Now close up your band. 
close up your band so this this can work in case you in case you don't want to use your pins or your fabric but you can still use your pins though but this is one of the smartest and quickest way to get a very seamless and cute cute band high on with a very good steam high on just keep ironing keep putting in feeding your band with more emmy gum now look at this guys so smooth now you can go ahead and sew over your band this is perfect now this is my shorts like this is almost ready now the next one i'm going to be teaching you now is how to use your emmy gun to lay down ankara patches you know those ties you used to see that they will cut these patches and you are wondering what is going on here yes i'm going to teach you how to lay your ankara patches now take your hemming gum place under your patch just like the way you are seeing in this video place under your patch just cut it alongside what you need place under your patch tuck it under at different points just acting like a gum right you know when you don't have gum to use yeah your emmy gum is coming to the rescue just iron very well with a very good steam iron guys look at this it's so cute i love it look at it's it's very hard it's neat at the back like you see there's no gum marks or whatever this is so perfect guys now you cannot go ahead and sew on the edges or you can use tones or whatever just accessorize your edges as you wish but now it's already gone and guys take my word for it it can never come off this is so perfect now the last one i'm going to be teaching you is how to use your aiming gum to sew in your slit um i'm already working on this skirt i've already gone placed my aiming gum but i just remembered i have to make this tutorial happen i have to show you guys this thing it's so good to hold back so i have to take off my skirt the m the places i've already hemmed my aiming gum i have to take it off i'm going to repeat it again now look at it i've already go ahead and I'm just going to remove look at the hemming gum we're going to be needing and just cut the length of your slits what you'll be needing for your slit cut it out and look at it I'm just going to remove what I've gone before and place my hemming gum underneath and iron generously over the slit iron yeah look at you can go ahead and press outside your fabric be careful not to burn just iron this is so cute and so perfect this is so perfect now this is the last method i will be teaching you on what to use your aiming gun for guys this is the one we all know i know this is one everybody uses for your aiming gun and guys why are you limiting yourself when you can do like a thousand things with your aiming gun now it's this is the one you know and it's how to use your aiming gun to lay down your aim the aim of your dresses your trousers your pants whatever just whatever you want to use your aiming gun for but this is the common one we know so just go ahead high on inwards your seam allowance at the bottom of your fabric or your dress or whatever iron it down if you're using one inch iron one inch down and just go in and tuck in your aiming gum inside take your seam iron press 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 very careful now just keep feeding in your hemming gum at the end of your dress like i'm doing to my skirts i'm pressing it's very it's very important to you fold in your allowance first underneath your fabric or your dress just to give you a perfect line so i don't keep going back and forth to remove your ring gun so i'm just finishing up my the process press it very well oh my god guys won't you just wear it already <laughs> this is so pretty guys this is really really nice this is how i like my skirt perfect seamless no no stitch line whatever like people will be wondering what exactly is going on under your skirt just iron the front of your fabric just to keep it in place don't burn this is perfect guys guys if you watch also this essence and you are here to subscribe to this channel hmm no words just go ahead and subscribe like and leave a comment in the comment section so yeah we're just doing a recap of everything we have done today as you can see we've done a whole lot i'm so glad you could watch this tutorial thank you guys so much and i will see you in my next tutorial guys bye